Lip Smack and Campin is brought to you by MSR Stoves and Cookware, makers of the legendary Whisper Light Stove and the award-winning Reactor Stove System. MSR has been fueling outdoor adventure for over 40 years. Hi there, I'm Tim Connors. I'm Christine. Welcome to another edition of Lip Smack and Campin. Today we're going to be talking about the basics of camp cooking. Now the obvious difference between cooking in camp and in your home kitchen is the fact that you're outdoors and you're away from the kitchen. And that right there is, is challenge enough for most people. But with a bit of a grounding in the basics and a little upfront planning, you too can be a master chef on the trail or while you're car camping. Perhaps the most important rule of thumb is to realize that you don't need to bring your kitchen with you when you're outdoors. Learn to adapt your recipes to the situation and learn to multitask your gear. You'll bring less gear with you, you'll have less things to keep track of, you'll have less bulk in your pack and in your car when you learn how to do that. On top of that, recognize that there are different types of trips. Backpacking, car camping, large and small groups, on water, on high ground, short trips, and long trips. And each of those types of trips will dictate the type of menu that you want to prepare. Let's talk a little bit about the different types of gear at top level. There's, when you're backpacking, you're looking for lightweight, um, compact gear. And there actually is gear that's um, crossover and that you can use while backpacking or in a small group setting while you're car camping. When you're, when you're car camping or you're on the water, for instance, in a, in a canoe or kayak, then your options go up, of course, because now you have the ability to haul quite a bit of gear. Now we're gonna take a look at the different ways we can prepare food at camp. The, the ubiquitous method for camping that you see both on the trail and while car camping is the stove. And here you have a two burner that uh, you, you'd often see in the car camping environment. On the trail, you might be using a, a, a propane stove, for instance. That, this stove has been a favorite of ours over the years. In fact, here I have in my hands the, the two whisper lights that we brought into our marriage. These, these guys are over 20 years old, and uh, we still have them, and we occasionally use them. So they're, they are a great stove. So you, you have the option with the stove of cooking with a pot or a fry pan. But what are some of the other methods that, that can be used? Um, a lot of people forget about the campfire. So it can be used for grilling, it can be used for cooking um, foods wrapped in foil, for instance. You can um, do fork cooking um, next to the fire. The pie iron is a, is a great um, cooking device that, that doesn't, that should get more attention. So it's basically like the ki kitchen panini press, but um, you can go ahead and load it with sandwiches and desserts hold it over the flames. It's made from cast iron. It really does a nice job of warming the food. At a campfire, you can use a reflector oven. And uh, this, is, this is great for baking. If you have the time, you set that up next to the fire. Now we're gonna move into cooking techniques that are only appropriate to the car camping environment because of the weight. And that would include the use of Dutch ovens, for instance, very heavy cooking gear. You would use as your heat source you know, a, a, a plate on a metal plate on the ground along with briquettes. Grilling is an obvious, obviously popular method of cooking and you can grill either on a, a purpose-built grill. You'll find those in many campgrounds. Um, you also can bring along your grill, of course, but you can also use the campfire for grilling if you have a grill grate on the campfire and you can buy your own grill grate and pack it along if your campfire doesn't have that. So that's another method. Cooking works great, of course, with meats that we're all familiar with, um, sauteing vegetables. You can even use your, your pan over the fire on a grill grate. And then consider no-cook options as well because that brings a lot of convenience to both the trail and the camp environment um, when it comes to your menu. So we've reviewed just a few of the ways that, that you can cook in camp and on the trail, and there's obviously a, a, a very broad number of options available. And remember that planning, practice, and attention to detail, those three will make you a master chef in the outdoors. Thank you for joining us for another episode of Lip Smack and Campin'. We hope to see you again. 
for hundreds of mouthwatering camp recipes and invaluable information for making your next camp trip memorable for all the right reasons. Check out Tim and Christine Connor's best-selling series of books. For more information or to purchase books, visit lipsmackandcampin.com.